Kia ora and welcome to this IT training tutorial video on style separators. Sometimes when creating a caption or a heading you want to keep the whole thing as one paragraph but only want the beginning text to end up in the list of figures or in the table of contents. In order to do this you can use a style separator. Here are some examples of captions using a style separator and here are some examples of headings using them. So if you just want your text to appear on different lines, that's fine. You would just use a line break. But a style separator does more than that. So as soon as I have used a style separator, you can see over here, it's cut off what's inside of the table of contents and it only is showing that part. But you still could use a line break as well, like I've done in this one. The same thing for the captions. So this one's just got a line break. And then down here, I've actually got a style separator because that's where it's breaking. Now I just want to point out to you, a style separator is different than just doing something like grabbing part of your heading and putting it in italics or perhaps doing something like changing some of your captions so that you just don't make it look like the rest of your style. So you can do things like that. That is still a caption style, that is still a heading style, but it will look different on the page but it will have no impact on what goes into your table of contents or your table of figures. Now to see what's happened here, I'm going to turn on the paragraph markers and you can see there's my line break and there's my style separator. Style separator, line break, and line break, and then down here at the bottom, style separator. So let's walk through how we create that. So I'm just going to go to another document and in here, we'll go ahead and create them. What you do is wherever you would like a style separator, you go to that particular paragraph. So this is a paragraph formatted as heading one and you go to the end of the paragraph and you hit enter. So you have to have that extra paragraph marker. Now you click back into the original one and you do a keyboard combination. You use control and alt and then you press enter. There we go. Now you can see that this is sort of a strange paragraph marker which has got a little box around it. What you do is click and drag that one wherever you would like it to go. Now the rest of your text here is still formatted as heading one, but you could now change it to say be normal. As long as it's heading one, it's going in your table of contents. But if I change it to normal, for example, I can then format it so that it looks the same as the rest. So I'll set it back up to the right size and make it bold. And I'll even make sure that it is centered. And now that is going to be left out of the table of contents. The same thing would happen here. So I'm just going to do that again. I hit enter. So I create an extra paragraph and then control alt and enter. And then I just take this and carefully select it and drag it where I want it to go. And then remember, I'd have to go through this part Actually, I can just click there and set it to a different style and then I can go back in and make it look like the rest so that it's indistinguishable on the page. And with this last one here, same thing with the caption. I'll go to the end and then click back in the caption style itself. Control Alt Enter and then take that little marker and drag it wherever I'd like it to go. And then I can do whatever I like with this half. So again, I could set this as normal and I could even do something like have it go to another line and then this is going to be my caption in the list of figures. So let's just put those in. So for my table of contents, I'll just get myself to the references tab and do a custom table of contents. Click OK. And then the last one here, table of figures, insert table of figures, click OK. That concludes this video on using style separators. Thanks for your attention. Kia ora.